Made. So Google almost made me look stupid. Google almost made me look stupid. For those I've not been able to respond to, I don't know how to apologize because it looks like I'm apologizing every day. In case of next time, if I'm working on something, please, I can't really multitask. So I just tested something. If I log into Google, let me show an example. If I log into Google and I come back again, I have to log in again. Any other site, it works perfect. And I was thinking the security issue at the beginning was mine because I was like, okay, customers will come in. And you know these people are very, very saucy. I don't know if, I don't know, maybe it's just criticisms. Let me don't take it personal. Let me assume that is how they criticize other people. Okay, I've launched this bot again. You can see I've launched the bot. You can see saying all bot states loaded successfully. Facebook bot state has been set. Instagram one has been set. Everywhere, Google has been said, blah, blah, blah. So let me show you, let me show you like what I'm actually trying to let you know. Okay, so this is the bot. This is the puppeteer, right? So if I go to setcookie.net, I use setcookie.net to test. If you're a developer and you're following me, you want to test how your cookies are being managed, if your cookie is consistent, use this website over here, setcookie.net, to help you check. Okay, so I saved this cookie um, not too long, just so I can confirm that the bot itself, which is your keg bot, like the bot state is properly managed. Because if you look at this code over here, this code says load bot state. So if you look at the code over here. Um, what it does is that it's, it goes from the endpoint and it tries to make sure that the bot states, which is the cookies and the local storage, you know, everything is being set, right? The cookies can be set at the beginning. You can see here, I set all the cookies at the beginning. And um, the local storage takes like, you can only set the local storage when you're on the website. So when you visit the website, it would set the local storage. But practically, um, this code or this method, the method of wire called load bot state, practically loads the bot state, right? Okay. So this method works perfectly fine. Now let's go into the bot. So this is the bot itself. You can see it has loaded perfectly fine. Um, it's able to load this. Now if I go to google.com, I'm going to open google.com. So if I go to google.com, you will see something. You see that when I'm on google.com, it tells me like I'm not logged in. Like this is it over here, sign in. But if I click on to sign in, you will now notice that Google actually knows I have an account here. Like I've logged into Google before, but it's showing signed out. But I never signed out. In fact, I have never signed out, right? So if I click on sign in again, so let's just say I want to sign in back. Now I'll put in my password, which I'll just um, quickly put in now. So let me put in the password immediately. And um, then I'll sign in again. Okay, so I just put in the password and I'll click on sign in. Now if I sign into Google again, notice at the beginning nothing is here. It's showing, okay, it has, it has come now. This one is now showing Daniel. So this means I'm signed in. So you can see Daniel now. At the beginning, it was empty, right? So this means I've signed in to, you know, my Gmail account. If I head over to YouTube or any other place, it would identify me. I will not have to, like, sign in because the whole session is still here. So let me head over to YouTube. You can see I'm on YouTube right now, and everything works perfectly fine. It will log me into... My YouTube, right? Everything is working perfectly fine. Everything is legit. If I go to Instagram, I, I signed into Instagram. So let me head over to Instagram, um, dot com, which is Instagram. You're going to see it log me in, right? So I've opened Instagram. You see, see me on Instagram. Everything is working perfectly fine. That means the cookie, the cookies are perfect. Local storage is perfect. So why was it looking like okay, bots was not really working? Right, because I've seen people who don't really like know much about this. They try to tell me, oh, on your video, you said when you log into any place and you come back again, I would still be logged in. Like the way Facebook works, when you log into your computer, if you open your Facebook.com again, it will not have to ask you to log in back from afresh. Instead, it will just, it will just uh, show you Facebook. So how come when we use it, we log into Google, it asks us to log into Google again? Okay, let me prove one point to you. So you can see that it's, it's also on Instagram. I didn't have to log into Instagram, right? So I'll come over to the code over here. This is the code over here. You can see it's running on the terminal. I'm going to do Control-C 
So I've closed the bot. You can see it's over here. I've closed the bot. I'm going to launch that specific bot again. I'm currently using the source code, so hence you're seeing the... Okay, so the, it has said all states loaded. You can see it over here, which is the bot again has been, you know, loaded. So I'm going to drag this bot over here. So just to let you know that it's not my fault, I'll go to Instagram again from the beginning. So let me go to Instagram because I want to actually show you that Google did a whole lot. But um, my name is Dano Kichuku Dano Kek, and I will show you how I've been able to bypass that thing. Okay, so look at it now. Um, Instagram is still logged in, right? So there was never a problem with this software. The software never had an issue. The issue was not from us. We did our best, but because of that update Google did, it just got outdated. So this is why if you're using a bot, you have to use OKEG okay bots. Every other person who creates a bot, they don't update their bots often. It's as if they don't care, right? I'm the only person who has time to be updating this in every day. Okay, look at here now. It's telling me not signed in, right? Not signed in means I'm not signed in. Now, if I see go to google.com again, right? Google.com. Google.com, right? Now, watch. Remember I was signed in before? Now, check. I will not be signed in again. To see sign me out. You see it? So, even if nothing was wrong, Google is still asking me to sign in again. If I click on sign in again, you will see, see that my account was, the, the cookie and local storage was here. You see? So why is Google logging me out? That's simple. It's because when you log into Google, Google saves some fingerprints on your Google Chrome, the user directory. So this means that even if you insert your cookies and your local storage, because it has not hand-checked with the Google Chrome user directory, you will not be able to log in. So how do I know this? Ah, firstly, I've been doing this all my life now, but for those of us who want to actually just learn, this is how you do it. So let's check the bot that was on, because I, I, I did the cheat. I was able to create a specific folder for every single bot state. So now this latest version of OKEG bots, as in it is 101% undetectable. Okay, the name of the bot is 09, right? So I'll come over here. You'll see this folder over here. I'll go to monetization, that's what I called it. And I'll go to 09 or 039. You see all these things? These are the user directory. So as long as this user directory is here, any place you log into Google, if you log out, it will still show you back your Google. But if you don't use a user directory, no matter how you attach it, you open Instagram, you open any website, no problem. But the only website that will ask you to log in again is Google. But however, let me show you what I was able to do. So this is my latest code now. You see this particular place? I commented because I wanted to show you this. So I'm going to uncomment this code. I'm going to remove the comments, right? And I'm going to save this one. So you can see right now that you can see bot family. I, I created a new section, bot family and the bot name. So what it simply means is that every single bot has a bot family, right? This is a bot family called Reinaps. This is a bot family called Monetization. For those of us who don't use OKEG bots, let me explain what it means. I'm going to, um, I'm looking for a browser I can use to explain better. Okay, let me zoom out, right? Let me zoom out. This is my system. Let me come here, right? I'm going to come here. Let me show those who don't use OKEG bot how it works. So I'm going to go to localhost 3000 on OKEG bot. If I click here, you're going to see what we call bot family. Every bot has a bot family. So this bot family is called monetization. And all this um, 001, 002, 003 to, to 0040 are called bots. If I change this to Renaps, you will see 001 to as many of them over here. Renaps has up to 0082. So I have two bot family. One has 82 bots inside of it. The other one has um, 40 inside of it. And the both of them are called one monetization. The other one is called Renaps. So what I did was I created a system. I created a system where there is a user directory created, right? Please take your... Okay, don't worry, let me just drag my system, okay. So I created a system in which now it's going to have a specific folder for each bot family. And inside each bot family, you will see one to 40 containing each of the user directory. So go, go, if you say you know, I don't know, pass you now. Okay, and this other one for the Renaps will have close to the 82. So this means that if you log in and you log out, go, go your Gmail, your AdSense fingerprints, or okay, cake got you covered.